we've been working to implement the recommendations of the Family Justice Review in a number of ways. Um, there's no one uh, quick fix that we're able to alight on or, or identify that's going to help us and, and, and help all of the agencies meet the uh, 26 weeks uh, target. Instead, it's a whole range of things which we think we can try to Im improve, um, improve by 10% here or 20% there, that will actually get us down to the timescales that we need to get to, but also retain the quality of decision making and the, and the quality of, of social work practice that's uh, essential to this. So I think um, for us, one of the key points for us was around the quality of social work assessment, um, bringing that right into the, the, the first core assessment that we do uh, with a family and a child, um, ensuring that the, uh, we, we work in the public law outline really efficiently and quickly and that we, if we are going down that route, that we uh, get in all of the uh, experts that we need to at the earliest possible stage, making sure our staff are prepared for court, that they, they know what's expected of them, that their papers are all prepared well and that they're, they're um, submitted on time, and that we've also tested and thought through the arguments around the case and so that we've got a, a good handle on, on what we need to do, why we're doing it, and what the outcomes we're expecting to achieve are. In terms of improving social work assessments, one of the interesting uh, things that we did, first of all, we, we started talking to social workers and did, in some ways, the classic managerial thing. And we said, well, we don't think your, so your assessments are uh, good enough, to which they quite rightly said, and well, OK, then, so what does a good enough one look like? Or what does a good uh, core assessment look like? Oh, that was an interesting one. So then we, then we gave some examples of what we thought of course, good core assessments looked like. And, that was an interesting exercise because actually different people had different opinions. Um, and what we found was that historically uh, there's a, um, a two-way relationship between the social worker and their line manager or the supervisor and the, the definition of what's good is decided in that two-way process. And we uh, eventually alighted on opening that out and uh, getting social workers to share their, what they thought was good in an open and constructive way with other colleagues. Uh, in a facilitated way, so that it wasn't something that uh, people ended up getting uh, damaged by. Um, and, other, you know, and other colleagues would share their, their version of what they thought was good, and you can get a much better um, view of what is a, a good assessment by incorporating the views of, of, of many, and you also get a, a much better range of circumstances in which you, know, that you might be able to assess what's, what's good. So that helped develop practice. Um, we did invest in... Um, what we've called workforce development officers. We've, in Hampshire, it's quite a big place. We've got, we divide our services on eight, eight areas, and in each area we've got a, a workforce development officer who is a sort of in-service, uh, in-house training and learning development resource. And their role is to facilitate some of that work, to facilitate workshops, and also to provide additional reflective practice for practitioners and, uh, and to highlight best practice and research and, and, and so on, so that there's, there's a, an internal resource that people can go to, which is outside of their line management, properly outside of their line management, but is also assisting the, the process. We, we haven't uh, gone there yet, but we're really interested in the Triborough model around case manager. Slightly trickier dimension for us, because we cover um, seven or eight different courts, and there's a geographical dimension to that, so we're just trying to work out how we can do that. Because we know that one of the things that we disproportionately rely on is the ability of our legal staff to sort of gatekeep the quality of some of the uh, court documents that are submitted. Now, that's actually quite an expensive way of doing your gatekeeping to pay a lawyer to do it. We can actually get a, a, a social worker to do that, and they'll be, probably be better at it as well. So we've got to do some work around that, and, and that's one of our next steps, and we, um, we've got to find the way of releasing the resource that enables us to do that and also find a way of managing the geography and managing the demands around the different courts in Hampshire so that we've, we've, we can get a consistency of, uh, of input. We've managed to reduce the, the, the timescales. So we, we were running at, uh, I think, around 56 weeks and we're now down to 44. We know we've got some changes in the pipeline that will reduce us even further, some of the 26-week uh, you know, the, the guillotine, if you like, but also the, some of the ways in which the courts are going to operate will help us reduce those timescales um, uh, even more. So we think the timeliness has been uh, good. 
We think that um, it's the, the less tangible result has been the quality of assessment and the quality of outcome that we're getting. And certainly the feedback from judiciary is, is that the cases that we're putting forward are more coherently made, that the, the, um, they, the judges find it easy to make their, their final decisions because the, the, the case is made better. And um, we're having less um, uh, outbursts of judicial disapproval, shall we say. Um, so that's, well, and that also helps social workers build up their confidence when they know they're not going to have a really hard time in court. So that begins to build up a, a sort of virtuous cycle of, of good practice in, in the courts. So that, those have been some of the benefits. And I think social workers also felt that the, um, the investment in time and quality is important to them. It's, it feels it's an important part of their job, and I think that... Um, for, for too long, we've been worried about um, chasing some performance target or other, but this is actually about the quality of their work, and they can see the relevance of that, and, and I think they're, they're, they're glad to have this focus as well.